بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم Welcome to Season 4 of Once Upon a Crescent, a Muslim kids podcast. Dear kid listeners, these stories are just for you. Written and produced by me, your author and narrator, Mrs. Hashmi. Let's switch on our imaginations with today's story. Today's story is called Eid Carnival Chaos. Eid carnivals are hosted at the biggest masjid of the city. This masjid has a parking lot that could fit an entire zoo in it. That's how much endless space there is for the community. So, every year, the masjid volunteers plan and prepare for an amazing family fun day for their community members. This Eid carnival is always packed with people. The smell of food, popcorn, cotton candy, and nachos fills the air. Once you park your car, you have to stand in line to either buy tickets or buy an all-day pass. The all-day pass looks like a colorful bracelet that you wear. Well, Muhammad's family was already standing in line to buy their all-day pass. For Eid this year, Muhammad and his little brother Imran were going to spend all day at the Eid carnival. Mama and Baba's Eid gift to them was the all-day bracelet pass. Muhammad and Imran were wiggling in line, eager to have the bracelets put on them so they can zoom off together to do all the amazing fun activities. Imran, let's do the petting zoo first, then the bounce house, then let's do the carnival games. If we get enough tickets from the games, we could even get a prize to share. Imran was bouncing in his spot, jittery with excitement. He peered in front of him to see how much longer the line was till they were next. Hmm. Imran squealed. Mama bent down to talk to the boys about some safety rules. Okay, listen up boys, I need to always be able to see where you are. That means you can't run off to the other side of the carnival without me. You have to be patient if mama is with a friend and if she's greeting Eid Mubarak to others, okay? We'll do the whole carnival, inshallah, but you have to wait for me. The boys nodded their heads quickly. Also, you have to stay together. You are his buddy and he is your buddy for today. Got it? Mama said seriously as she made the boys hold hands. The boys giggled and laughed and pulled hands away from each other quickly when Mama wasn't looking. Ew, Muhammad, your hands are sweaty, Imran joked. Ew, Imran, your hands are sticky, Muhammad snapped back. Ew, Muhammad, your face is sticky, Imran giggled. Ew, Imran, your face is sweaty. The boys teased each other in line until it was their turn. They pushed out their arms to the volunteer, wanting the bracelet immediately. The poor volunteer dodged their hands, saving her chin from getting jabbed at by the boys. Mama eyed the boys, and they sheepishly smiled. (laughs) They slowly and gently offered their hands this time for the all-day pass bracelets. As soon as those bracelets were securely adjusted on their wrists, the boys gained super energized speed in their feet. Mama held their shoulders in place. Whoa, whoa, my roadrunners. Before you zip off to have an Eid carnival adventure, let's review the rules. Muhammad took a deep breath to ease the energy in his body. He slowed down and explained, Mama, we won't go anywhere that's far, and we won't go anywhere where you can't see us. We'll play together, and we'll play safe. Inshallah, Mama nodded. Also, no fighting. Solve your problems with words, not your hands and feet. Got it? If you need to talk it out with me, you know where to find me. The boys nodded and hugged their mamas before racing off. Alhamdulillah for the boys, the petting zoo was completely empty. The boys walked right in to be around the baby goats and chickens. Imran held on to his brother's shirt. 
Baby goats had way more energy than these boys. They were jumping around the haystacks, kicking and ramming into everything. Muhammad chased after them, trying to pet one, while his little brother held on, being pulled and tugged in every direction. Oh no, Imran had plopped face down onto the ground, dirtying up his brand new Eid thobe. Ouch! Muhammad, you are going too fast. You made me fall. Imran stayed on the floor, rubbing his knees, while his older brother tried to shoo away a baby goat who was still in the mood to be chased. Muhammad, I'm going to get stomped on by these goats. Let's get out of here. Imran picked himself up and yanked on his older brother to exit the petting zoo. Imran's scraped knee was fiery red. Muhammad blew on his knee trying to make his little brother feel better. <sighs> oh, it's super ouchy, Muhammad, Imran complained. Muhammad felt worried for his little brother, and he looked around to see if Mama was nearby. She wasn't. She was standing in line to buy lunch with Baba. Muhammad felt a tap on his shoulder. Huh? An elderly uncle with a long white beard and a walking cane smiled at the boys. His eyes wrinkled up and he held out some bright blue cotton candy. The elderly uncle's hands were shaking gently as he extended the treat to Muhammad. <coughs> Excuse me. Assalamu alaikum. Eid Mubarak. Here, perhaps this will take away your brother's super ouchie. Muhammad nodded quietly and took the cotton candy happily. The uncle turned around and walked away, wobbling while walking, without saying another word. Muhammad called out, Wait, uncle, jazakallahu khair. Muhammad's voice was drowned out by the chaos of the Eid carnival. It was way too loud for the elderly uncle to even hear Muhammad. Muhammad tried to step over his brother to go thank the uncle properly. He didn't want the uncle to just leave without him saying thank you. Muhammad got up but realized Imran was still on the floor hurt. He looked at his little brother who was too busy rubbing and blowing on his scraped knee. <sighs> Ugh, Muhammad felt so heavy in his heart. He wanted to run after the uncle to say thank you, but he definitely couldn't because his little brother was on the floor hurt. Muhammad felt defeated. He bent down and offered the cotton candy to his little brother first. Here, look what I got. Have some. Imran's eyes sparkled at the sight of pure sugar. Whoa, for me? Thank you so much, Muhammad. Jazakallah khair, Muhammad. Oh, that was the exact thing that Muhammad wanted to say to the elderly uncle. It means may Allah reward you with good. And that's a dua that Muhammad truly felt for him. Meanwhile, Imran leaned forward and took a big alligator bite into the fluffy cotton candy. Muhammad, that was really nice of you. Thank you. Muhammad kept quiet. He was really bothered by the fact that he couldn't thank that uncle like the way his brother just thanked him. Muhammad scanned the area, but again the chaos of the Eid carnival made it impossible to spot one person in the crowd. There were hundreds of people walking around. Muhammad watched as his little brother took not one, not two, but three alligator bites into the fluffy cotton candy. Imran smiled so big, revealing his blue-colored teeth. I'm glad you're feeling better, Imran. Imran, I need to drop you off to Mama for a bit. I'll be right back, okay? Do you think you can walk over to Mama and Baba? Muhammad took his brother's hand and helped him up. They walked to their parents slowly. Mama's eyes got wide as she saw Imran's blue-colored mouth. 
Oh, no, no, no. We were just about to eat lunch, boys. Where did you even get that from? Mama questioned. Mama, this old uncle gave it to me because Imran got hurt. No, no, I didn't just get hurt. I got a super ouchie. Look! Imran exclaimed, pulling up his pant leg, showing his deeply scraped knees. Baba took Imran in his lap to examine his injury better. Mama, I have to go find that uncle. He didn't even hear me say Jazakallah khair. It was too loud by the petting zoo. It feels so rude to not say thank you. Mama smiled at her soft-hearted son. I agree. This is something that we talked about, remember, in Ramadan? Remember the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ who said, Whoever does not thank people has not thanked Allah. Exactly, Mama. That's what I was thinking too. I feel like I need to go thank the uncle properly. Mama put her hand on her chin, tapping it gently, trying to come up with a plan. But how are we going to find that uncle in this chaos? Mama said, looking around at the busy masjid parking lot. Muhammad squinted at his surroundings, watching as kids ran past him. He looked at the long lines of people waiting for food, noticing that they were all adults his parents' age. That's when it struck Muhammad. If the uncle was an old elderly uncle with a cane, then there's no way that he'd be on the rides or standing in line. The old uncle must be sitting on the masjid benches, maybe waiting for lunch somewhere with all the other elderly. Mama, I think I know where he is. Muhammad looked at his mom, waiting to see if she was okay with him going off. We'll be right here. I'll watch you from here, okay, Muhammad? Mama rubbed her son's back. Muhammad sprinted off to the picnic tables near the entrance of the masjid. He walked by the table where the chai and coffee was, and he immediately knew that he was right. There were so many elderly people together on a few tables. They were drinking their chai and enjoying their Eid afternoon. Muhammad walked slowly between the tables, looking for the sweet uncle who handed him the cotton candy. He spotted a cane leaning against one of the tables and quickly walked over. The elderly uncle was there, and he smiled at Muhammad. He held his hand out to him. Muhammad held his fragile, wrinkled hand and sat next to him and spoke clearly this time. Uncle, thank you for the cotton candy. Jazakallah khair. My mom says that if we want to show our thanks to Allah, we have to be thankful to people, like the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ. The uncle smiled even bigger at Muhammad's explanation. He nodded slowly and gently tugged Muhammad. Muhammad leaned in to give the uncle a warm hug, resting his head on his big white beard that smelled like ither. Suddenly, the chaos of the Eid carnival behind them faded into a silence as Muhammad kept still. He sat with the elderly uncle, holding his bony hand for a moment longer. Eid Mubarak to all my dear kid listeners. I hope you all had a wonderful Eid. I hope you also enjoyed my Eid gift to you all. It was sent out in an email for all those that joined my mailing list. If you haven't yet, please join by clicking mrshashmi.com. This would be the best way to be up to date about news of more projects, personalized aid stories, and other content for my kid listeners to benefit from. So don't forget to join on my website, mrshashmi.com.